Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going over is creating God rays inside of your game, as you can see on screen now. So these are God rays, or you may have heard them as sun rays, but essentially it's just this beam of light coming down from the sun in between the trees or the rocks or anywhere where you have it really, you can see them coming through here. So this is what we're going over and creating today, and it's very, very simple to do. So without further ado, let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. So what we want to do first is we want to select our light source. So we can search in the top left world outliner here for light and I have mine as the directional light. Now this might be different for you, it might be called light source, but for me it's the directional light. In the details panel of this, we're going to search for light shafts, like so. So we have light shafts and what we want to do here is tick light shaft occlusion and light shaft bloom. And now you can see we already have this effect here. It's the bloom that is actually giving us this main effect. But you need to make sure you have both of these ticked for it to be working. And then you can change all of these different values to get the effects that you want. So you can change them and see what changes and effects this is actually doing. The bloom scale is obviously also going to be the intensity. So you can have it really bright if you wanted or really dark. And the threshold is obviously doing something similar. The main one I'm going to be changing and the only one I'm going to be changing is the bloom max brightness and that's going to be giving us the different individual beams of light and the light shafts here. I like to go with a value of around 5 as that seems to be perfect for me. Obviously you can see increasing and decreasing what it is actually doing and again you can change all the different values to get it perfect for you too but for me these are the values which I like to use. So I'm going to set that to about 5. And you can obviously also change the color as well if you wanted. So if you wanted red or blue so it's maybe a bit cold or orange so it's nice and warm or green or whatever it is that you want you can really change these values so again if you give it a nice blue color it's going to look really cold or if you give it a nice orange color it's going to look nice and warm whatever it is that you want you can do that but i'm just going to leave it as white by default and that really is all we need to do it is incredibly simple to set up and get working for us so then you'll notice we've now got our god rays or our sun rays and our light shafts inside of our game like so and you can really see it when you go behind a tree or anything that's going to be blocking the sun you can see these lights coming down here so it's kind of a bit like fake ray tracing essentially you're going to see the light rays and the sun rays coming down through the trees or any object that's going to be blocking it like so and i just think this looks really really nice and gives a great detail and effect into your games so i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do what we've done is set up god rays inside of our game so we can have these light beams and these light shafts coming down from the sun into our project like so giving that extra nice detail and beautiful effect so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful and if you did please make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one